again and today I'm gonna teach you guys how to draw Pikachu yay my other Pokemon how to draws have been pretty popular so I thought I'd go with a Pikachu this time since Pikachu is the main Pokemon that people think about when they hear Pokemon so let's begin oh and by the way it's gonna be a male Pikachu because that's the most iconic also, I'm not that good at drawing the female Pikachu's tail. Oops! <laughs> so, to begin, we're gonna draw the head. And you shouldn't start too, too big because you might run out of room on your paper. For Pikachu, I would use a vertical paper if you're gonna draw him standing up. And horizontal if you wanna draw him on all fours, but I'm gonna draw him standing up. So, to, to draw the head, we're going to do a semicircle, kind of, like this. And then we're going to add some ears. So it starts with a line like this. When I'm drawing, I like to use simple shapes. And then we come back down like that. And you're gonna have to do that to the other side too, because Pikachu needs two ears. So then bring the other ear up to about the same length. You should try and get it to be the same length, unless you want to have a lopsided Pikachu. Curve it a little bit at the top before coming back down. Not too much though. So now Pikachu has two ears. And then we gotta finish the head. Cheeks. Do a big semicircle around from ear to ear. Like this. And now you got a Pikachu head. Now we got Pikachu's body, which I would think of as like a big letter U, probably. At the base of the cheek. So the big letter U is the body. Nice and simple like that. And then Pikachu gets little hands. Picture the arm. Start with the line about here. If you want Pikachu's arms inwards like mine. Or you can have your Pikachu's arms to the side and put the line on them outside of the body. And you're going to need to give him two hands. And two arms. And then two hands. Get these little fingers. Just like a little squiggle, like you're drawing the letter M or the letter N over and over again. And now to give Pikachu a second arm, the same way we did the first one, except it's on the other side now. Like this. And this is a pretty fat Pikachu, apparently. <laughs> Pikachu used to be fat. And then he's the other half of the arm. That's another semicircle. And then again with the fingers. So 
So that Pikachu has two arms and two hands to grab things with. So this is how the Pikachu looks now. Now to add some feet. And two. This, like this, first foot, kind of angled them a little bit. Let me get you guys a closer look at that. And Pikachu needs two feet. So you're coming out of the other side, angled the opposite direction. is the second. So now, Pikachu has two feet. Uh, if you heard that thudding noise, that was a kitten getting himself into no good and he tumbled a little bit. So now this is Pikachu without a face or anything. <laughs> we should go back and complete Pikachu's face. That would be a good idea. So, you can do pretty much any kind of pattern for the tips of the ears. You can do it spiky or smooth. And, but, I'm just gonna do, draw a line across the top. You can do a straight line or a squiggly line. I'm gonna do that for both ears. This is kind of a diagonal line. And then for Pikachu's cheeks, you just gotta do semicircle on both sides. I probably need to redo that one ear. I mean, that one cheek. It's a little small. So I'm gonna do that. It's okay if you guys mess up. See, as I messed up. <laughs> center of the head. You draw a straight line, very small, with a little semicircle at the bottom. So a very tiny semicircle for the nose. And Pikachu's eyes are just circles also. Put them at an angle from the nose. Like this. <laughs> I'm gonna redo that eye, it's a little too close to the nose. Circles for the eyes. I'm gonna do another circle on the inside of the eyes for more detail. Well, more of a semicircle inside the circle for the eyes. 
and now Pikachu is just lacking a mouth and a tail. So we're going to draw a line from the nose down. Like this. And then you just go to hook it like an anchor. Both sides. Like this. And then just the inside of the Pikachu's mouth is a nice semicircle connected to the bottom of the anchor. Like that. Now for Pikachu's tail. It's a zigzag start at the bottom. Here. Up. And then we're gonna do another V. Down. And up. So now there's a W attached to the side of the Pikachu. And there's going to be another line coming from upper to the body down. Like this. And up. So now there's a V above the W. Don't put it too close, otherwise the two lines will touch. And then it'll be like, hey, Pikachu's tail is kind of broken. And then you're going to continue to be a little further. And then from the W, start another line downward. And at this point, you can decide if you're making the female Pikachu or not. Because the female Pikachu has a heart and instead of just a box. Since we're making just a box, get another line down from the V. to about where the line from the W is. And then close off the box. Just like this. So now you got a Pikachu. Now you got color in the Pikachu. Pikachu's mostly yellow, but there is other colors, obviously. And I got my colored pencils for the outlines. Nice big assortment here. I didn't count how many colored pencils are in this box, but it's probably like, I don't know, 200, 300, 250, something like that. I don't exactly have time to count them all out. I'm gonna start with um, some black for Pikachu's ear tips. If I can find the black, here it is. With this many colored pencils, sometimes it's a little tricky to find the right colors. So, 
you just take the colored pencil and put it along the lines that you made in the pencil. And we're going to do that for both ear tips. Also, at this point, you can decide if you're making a shiny Pikachu or not. I'm making a regular Pikachu. So, we're going to use the traditional colors. Pikachu's eyes. Outline Pikachu's eyes with black colored pencil. That. And that's all the black. Now, cosplay Pikachu, she has a black tip on her tail, but regular Pikachu does not. Now, since this is a regular Pikachu, we're going with red for the cheeks. Just like that, and the rest is yellow. Wait, except for the inside of Pikachu's mouth. Inside of Pikachu's mouth is not yellow. So I think we'll hurry up and do that next with a pink colored pencil. And now it looks like Pikachu's tongue is sticking out, but it's not. Also, Pikachu's nose needs to be outlined too. Well, it can completely color the nose because it's such a tiny spot. We're going to use brown for Pikachu's nose. Actually, more of a dark brown. I think dark brown would fit better. Very carefully in that tiny semicircle. Like this. And then yellow for the rest of Pikachu's outline. Start with the head, as you did when you were drawing it. Like that. And down to the body. You can turn your, pillar, your paper a little bit if that helps. I just turned my paper to get around the bottom of Pikachu's body. And I tailed it back upright, going back up Pikachu's body. Big yellow oval. And Pikachu's little arms and hands. The fingers are so tiny we can pretty much color those in. So now the Pikachu looks like this. Now all that's left to outline is the feet and the tail. I'm starting with the feet, coloring in those little toes.
like this. And now just to outline the tail. Something the paper helps a lot on this section too. And so the entire outline should be complete now. Now we can switch to crayons. Or if you want to finish coloring your Pikachu in with colored pencils, that's fine too. But I usually use colored pencils and knit crayons for these kind of artworks. I like to start with the lightest color first. So I'm going to start with pink. Right inside of Pikachu's mouth. And then the next lightest color would be yellow. So then it's time to completely color in the Pikachu's belly with the yellow. Like what I like to do is to use delicate little strokes. I've said this before in my drawing videos if you've seen them. So I, I don't want to leave too many white spots. I just, it's kind of like a printer. You go down the paper and up the paper over and over again. Be careful not to cut over the outline. That's why the outlines are there to guide. <laughs> okay, I didn't make. She wants milk. <laughs> I have water, it's already happening. And I'm going to put the yellow crayon around the eye. This. So that I don't Now part of Pikachu's face is colored in, guys. This is the boring part. Well, for you guys watching. Unless you guys are actively following along. Because then you just have to sit here and watch me staring at the paper and I'm coloring it in. But this is a necessary part of drawing Pikachu. Unless you kind of like Pikachu black and white. Looking like black and white. around the mouth, pencil kind of smudges, especially with lighter colors, it's easier to tell if there's a smudge. And then we're going around the other eyeball now, nice and even, get up to the top of Pikachu's head. And under Pikachu's eye. This is almost complete. It's looking pretty gold for some reason on the camera. I hope that the camera does not actually make it look gold like that. It's yellow in real life, not gold. Because it's not a shiny Pikachu. Make a room Pikachu. And then up to the other ear. Up and down that ear. I 
Detail Pikachu space is complete. Now to go on to the lower body. I might need to peel this a little bit to get more yellow. I'm using a lot of yellow right now. The arms are going from left to right because that would be up and down if Pikachu's arms are positioned up and down. And then I'm going to color underneath that arm. Very careful around the pencil. How are you guys? How are you guys doing? How's your Pikachu looking? If you're drawing along with me, you going good. Mine's, mine's really good. Yeah. <laughs> you're not drawing Pikachu. Oh darn. back around to the top, finish the other part of where Pikachu's body is near his arm. A little bit under his chin, and then continue the up and down coloring until half the body is complete. And I can continue that after I show you this. <laughs> now I'm going to continue coloring it in. And then we're going to be careful around Pikachu's other arm. Other above Pikachu's arm. And back to his other arm. Left and right. Under Pikachu's arm. Pikachu's armpits. No. There are no Pikachu armpits. And the Pikachu body is colored in. Now I'm going to color in his feet. One foot and the other foot. Have you guys reached the feet yet? It's okay if you haven't. Take your time. And now I'm moving on to coloring Pikachu's tail. If you guys are that far, you can do that as well. If you hear those whirring noises in the background, that's just the dishwasher as usual. I always do these videos after doing the dishes, so the dishwasher is always making noises in the background. That's just how it goes. Okay, I'm done with the yellow. Have you guys finished the yellow yet? That means Pikachu should be almost complete, guys. Next. I'm going to move on to doing the cheeks. You guys can follow as well. I'm going to get my red crayon out. This should be really fast since there's not that much red needed. As in comparison to the yellow, which took quite a few minutes probably.
Nice and easy. Both, e both cheeks colored in. And now for the final color, I'm going to go to the black because that is the darkest color. Of course, you guys can color it in any order you want. This is just the order that I would do. I really am doing it for you guys for this demonstration. So I'm going to start with the ears. Just like before, small, delicate little strokes of the coloring. You can also do that with colored pencils. The same kind of strokes. And you get both the ear tips colored. And now the color Pikachu's eyes. And then that's the end, guys. I hope you guys have been enjoying this video. Crumpet says she enjoys the video. And Pikachu is complete. Isn't that adorable? Okay, is your Pikachu complete? If not, take your time. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments what you want to see drawn next. It doesn't have to be a Pokemon, you can still just anything pretty much as long as it's not inappropriate and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel